Hi, my name is Anu, and I'm 24 years old. My name is Hong Jing, I'm 25 this year. My name is Candy, I'm 23 years old. I'm Ko Zian, I'm 20 years of age. Okay, to start off, what facial features do you dislike? Oh, I dislike oh, a lot. Eh? I have a really round and long forehead. I like to say that it's a five head and not a four head. I think my eyebrows are too short. It's a bit sparse. My eyes are a bit small. Sometimes when I take photographs without makeup, I'll look very sleepy. <laughs> a lot of people think that I don't, I'm not concentrating. And for my nose, the nose, my nose. It's too cramped at center. When I smile, it spreads out all over my face. And this part could be Shafa. And my face is very big. My cheeks are pretty big. My my two front teeth is too big. I do not like my like my jaw because I think it's big. Overall, the head is just big. The shape is fine. It's the size. Yeah. The simple truth is, beauty is extremely important in our society today. Appearance matters to us because we know appearance matters to other people. How other people think about my looks, it definitely matters to me. If not, I wouldn't bother putting makeup to school every day. I feel hurt if someone said I was really ugly. <laughs> when someone say that, oh, hey Hong Jing, I think you you look a bit, your face a bit fat. Eh? Then uh, the next moment you see, I look at the, the windscreen of the car, check, eh? really very fat man. I mean, I've been teased in school, like, oh, Lohan head, because that time we used to like tie our hair all back, so it's like really prominent. I don't have a jawline or a chin, so I usually get teased about that, like people say I look like a goldfish. Can I say it? Can I say what's it? Yeah. I, I, I don't know what they mean by it, but they say I look like a cow. I don't know, I really don't get it, but yeah. There are many ways to build self-esteem. You know, your achievement, life achievement, success, whether you are resourceful, whether you are talented, whether you have skills. But for younger populations, right, all these aspects are not fully established in life yet. One of the most accessible way for them to feel good would be you know, physical appearance. And that could be one of the reasons why people at that particular age are so driven by appearance because that is one central aspect of life that is accessible to them. In recent years, the Korean wave has taken Asia by storm. K-pop and K-dramas have become immensely popular among young people. Before JC, I used to be really into Hollywood stars so like Jessica Alba, etc. But when I got into K-pop, I started watching more K-pop videos and I started watching uh, Korean makeup tutorials. So I think that's what shaped my perception of beauty. For guys, uh, I think that those who like K-pop want to look more, have more feminine, have more feminine features, uh, more androgynous, I guess. I think that the epitome of masculine beauty would be someone like Song Jong Ki from Werewolf Boy. He's a Korean actor. There's this softness to his face which contrasts with many Western actors. Like his face is soft and gentle and it makes him look young and fresh. I like K-pop group Big Bang GD a lot. Yeah, GD, G Dragon. Because he has like really cute baby face. And his features for a guy is really like girl, which really makes me envy. Yeah, like he's like he's a guy but yet he has female features, he's like wow. For girls, I think it will be um, Sanara Park from the K-pop girl group, 21. If I'm not wrong, she's almost 30 and she still have this like baby face look. And her skin is flawless and yeah, she have a nice nose, nice lips, nice eyes. I like SNSD Yuna. Yuna has a very sweet uh, and beautiful look. She got very nice features. Uh, she got double eyelid and she, she has a very sharp face. A small petite mouth. Uh. <laughs> yeah, her forehead suits her face well. And yeah, I think her, her hair complements her even more. 
The pursuit of these idealized looks have led to the creation of photo editing applications. These apps allow us to enhance our facial features through a simple click, drag, and save. The desire to change our looks can go to the drastic extent of plastic surgery. As surgical methods become more accessible, we have become more open to going under the knife. Most people go to Korea, like all the Singaporean bloggers are going to Korea and do their plastic surgery. And then with the K-pop and all the K-pop celebrities are doing it in Korea as well. They're so experienced. I heard there's an entire street of just plastic surgery clinics. It's quite well known for it, so there's a certain quality over there. So I guess um, it's pretty credible and I know that it won't go wrong. If you had the chance to undergo surgery, right, what would you change about your face? I would like a more defined eyebrow. Or just implant a thicker eyebrow. I would do um, surgery to have double eyelids. And maybe pin, pin back my ears a bit. I'll get a jaw and a chin implant. I'll make my nose sharper. That's something that I really want to do. I think I'll change my, the, the shape of my nose. Make my nose like a bit smaller. Reduce it in width. I'll suck the fats out to make it thinner so that it can be sharper. But undergoing such extreme methods to suit the current trend may not be a lasting solution. History has shown how many beauty trends have come and gone, and what people find beautiful has constantly changed. If you look at um, the 80s and the 90s, there was this thing about having big eyes, and that came from Japan, because J-pop was very big in the 80s, and that was the trend then. So people wanted to have these really sharp pixie faces, with big anime eyes, so that they kind of look like the cartoon characters that they were idolizing. In the last five years or so, there's been more of a Korean K-pop uh, craze, and men all look very a little effeminate, a little uh, in between male and female, very metrosexual, and women have very tiny faces, again with big eyes, but with long eyes. But when everyone follows the same trend, what are the repercussions? You can tell that they're all going for the same kind of features. Big eyes, double eyelids, sharp, sharp chin, V-shaped face. And it becomes quite homogeneous, their look. Like, all looks like the same Korean Barbie. Let's pick a K-pop girl group, um, like uh, SNSD. If you just look at them at one glance, literally all of them just look the same, especially with their long hair. I think that this is... This is not the way beauty should be presented to the world. That there should be variety in beauty. And that, you know, not everyone has to look the same. Okay, so what do you find unique about your looks? I have very thick brows, which I like. I like big foreheads because it creates the impression that you're smart and wise. Because, <laughs> you know, there's like more space up there. I like my bunny teeth, actually. Because, <laughs> like, not everybody has. I have no, like, special favourite big eyes or, like, uh, a well-defined high cheekbones, but like I think everything when put together, it just sort of like blends nicely, and then like I'm comfortable with it. I say I like it. Everyone is different, so if you were to like change something there, it's it's kind of like not you. I don't want to change something that I was born with. If you know your face is okay, your eyes are you know, you've got two eyes, one nose, one mouth, you, know, you are you know you are you are okay, what? I mean. Um, I don't really want everything to be so perfect. 